Hi, I'm Matthew and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up and run your own spreadsheet for Spreadsheet Smash. If you don't know what Spreadsheet Smash is, it's a thing that Heath and I do where we do Ford Lorry battles in Smash 4 with every single character combination. And we have this spreadsheet here that keeps track of a few things. It keeps track, uh, most importantly, of the wins. It also keeps track of the next battle that we do. So if you can see at the top there, it says Lucas versus Zelda. It also keeps track of the winning streaks. And finally, it keeps track of the wins and losses of each individual character. So I've had a few messages from people asking about how they can run their own spreadsheet. So what I've done is I've created a template spreadsheet and this video will go about explaining how to set up the spreadsheet so that you can use it for your own version of Spreadsheet Smash. The first thing you'll have to do is go to tinyurl.com slash spreadsheet smash and you'll get this blank template and you will need a Google account for this because the first thing you'll need to do is make a copy of the spreadsheet. So copying the spreadsheet is easy enough. All you have to do is just go file and make a copy and then just give it the name. I'll just call it spreadsheet smash for this tutorial and the spreadsheet will begin loading. So one thing about the sheet, it's a bit complicated, so it might take a bit to load initially, uh, what with all the images and all the formulas that are on the sheet. So just give it about a minute and it should be good to go. So now that the spreadsheet has loaded, uh, we're gonna have to set things up. So you'll notice at the bottom that there's table and logic. So we're gonna wanna click on the logic sheet and that will load up the back end of the spreadsheet. So just before we begin setting things up here, I just want to point out the random value column. Uh, this column is just full of um, random formulas, basically just to give us random numbers between 0 and 1. And that will be responsible for randomizing the order that we do the matches in. But first, we'll set the player name. So I'll set player 1 to myself and I'll set player 2 to Heath. And while we're doing this, you'll notice a few things. One, the numbers in the random value column, they're all changing, which is sort of what we want. And two, the tokens have changed to be the first letter of the player name. So you'll see M and H there. Now, if you're in a situation where you, both your names begin with the same letter, so if I put in Matt here for player two, you'll see the tokens M, uh, that's not going to work. Because the way the tokens work, if we go to the spreadsheet that Heath and I use, you'll see the M's and the H's in all the cells for the sheet. And if they're the same letter, that's you're not going to really be able to tell who's winning. So what you can do is you just override one of them with a different letter. It's up to you what you want to pick. Uh, and I'll just use the letter G for this example. Really, the important thing is that the tokens for both players, they cannot be the same letter. Otherwise, the sheet will not work properly. Uh, just to prevent any confusion, I'll just change this back to Heath's name and we can move on. Now, going back to the random value column, what you've probably noticed is the columns A to H are in a filter. And what we're going to end up doing is sorting this filter by the random value. And that's what's going to get us to randomize the order we play our matches in. And what you also probably noticed is whilst we were modifying the spreadsheet, the random values kept changing. In fact, columns A, C, D, F, G, and H all have formulas that we don't really need anymore. So we want to get rid of these formulas, but not get rid of the values that the formulas hold. So what we're going to do is copy uh, columns A to D. So just highlight them all, then control C. And then we're going to go edit and then paste special. That's important. And then paste values only. So that will get rid of the formula, but keep the values. And we're gonna do the same for F, G, and H. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want Google Sheets to keep running these formulas when they're not really necessary. It just slows the sheet down. All right, so now that that's done, you'll see that these columns now just keep the values and the formulas aren't there anymore. So that should speed things up a little. Now, what's important is that we didn't do this for column E. We want column E to keep its formula there, the upper indirect formula, because what that does is it actually refers to the table, the table sheet. So for example, if we see here, we've got Mario versus Mario as the first match. So if we go to the table and then put, say, say I, I would win that match against Heath, let's be honest. Uh, so I'll put an M in there and then we go back to the logic table and you'll see that that cell value has an M because I won that match and those cell values are used to keep track of the winning streaks. So you definitely do not want to remove the formulas in column E. All right, let's just go back to the table sheet for a moment. Say you put something in the wrong cell. 
it's actually quite important to follow the order of matches. So if the next match says up there, for instance, Mario versus Luigi, you gotta do Mario versus Luigi. Don't go, don't go out of order. You'll mess things up on the sheet. But as you can see here, um, these blank cells, they have dashes in them. So if you need to remove something, replace it with a dash. Don't leave the cell blank. If you do leave a cell blank, I'll just quickly demonstrate here. So we just make this one blank. It will color it white or lack of color. And you can just fix this simply by just putting the dash back in and things will be fine. All right, so let's go back to the logic sheet. And now let's actually randomize the matches. So all you simply need to do at this point is click on the drop down on the filter in the random value column and then sort by A to Z, which essentially means ascending order. And what you see here is all the matches are now randomized. And there you go. So the first match there is Dr. Mario versus Sheik. And if we go back to the table, you'll see that the match of Dr. Mario and Sheik is highlighted in yellow. And at this point, the sheet is pretty much ready to use. You just put in whoever wins the match, you put in their token, so, and there you go. But say you're like Heath or myself, and we want, we want our last match to be our best characters. What we would do, so my best character is Mario. So what we would do is we go to, I'm player one. So we go to the player one filter, clear out all the values, and I would type in Mario, and then select Mario. And for Heath, who's player two, we would go to his filter and clear all the values and then type in Mega Man. Heath's main character is Mega Man. And we tick Mega Man on that list and then hit OK. And we'll see we've, we're just left with one row. And what we do here is we just put a one in the random value. That's because all the random numbers we've generated are between zero and one, uh, not including one. So because we've done that, we'll definitely have that at the last match. So what I'm doing now is just unclearing all the filters so that we get our full list back and then sorting the random value again by ascending order or A to Z. And what you will see here if we scroll down to the bottom is there you go. Uh, Mario and Mega Man is the last match. All right, so another thing you may need to do perhaps if we go back to the table sheet, uh, we'll see here that this sheet includes all the current available DLC characters, but you may not have the DLC characters, so we may actually want to filter them out as well. So again, we could just apply our filters. So if we go to player one and clear the values and then select all the DLC characters, so Mewtwo, Lucas, uh, Roy and Ryu, so we do that for player one. What we'll have left is all of Player One's DLC characters, and we'll go to the top random value and set it to just some really high number, uh, like 99. And then what we'll do is we'll select that 99, do a Control Shift down to select the rest of the column, and then a Control D to fill the values with 99. And now we just have to do the same for Player Two. But before we do that, we gotta uh, select all the values for Player One, then filter out the DLC characters for Player Two. Now, the reason why we do it like this is it's a bit, it would be a bit messy to just delete the DLC characters from the spreadsheet. So instead, we just push them all the way to the bottom so that you can sort of just ignore them. So once again, we put 99 as our first random value, then select 99, then do control shift down, that selects the rest of the column, and then control D, that fills the values with 99. And now we need to go back to our filter and select all so that we get our full list of matches and then again go to the random value filter and sort by ascending order so now what we'll have is at the very bottom of the sheet we'll have all the dlc matches that we don't want to do because we don't have the dlc characters and if we scroll up a bit we should also still have our uh last match that we set the mario versus mega man match um if we can just find there, uh, there it is yes and we still got that being our last official match so at this point, if you haven't already, you can start using the spreadsheet now that we've filtered out the DLC characters, if that's something you wanted to do. So the final thing in this video, say you've done a few matches, and as you can see, Heath's not doing very well. But say that we've done a few matches, and we now want to put back in the DLC characters because we decided to go purchase them, we want to add them back into the sheet. What that would involve is rerunning our randomizer, so to speak. So if we go to the logic table, we want to find where our next match is. So in this example here, you'll see that we're at row 27 because that's where the first dash is. 
So what we want to do here is insert a formula. So we want to do, we want to insert our random formula, which is equals rand, R-A-N-D, and then open brackets, close brackets. Now here we want to do plus one, because the previous time we set up our random numbers, they were numbers between zero and one. We want numbers now between one and two so that we don't mess up the order of the matches that we'd already done. So that's why we do the plus one. So from here, we select the new random value, uh, do control shift down and then do control D uh, and that will fill the rest of the sheet excluding the matches that we've already done with random numbers between one and two. Also we will want to copy so control C then go edit paste special and then paste values only because we don't want the sheet to be continuously generating the random numbers we want to remove that formula immediately. Also remember for this example we wanted our last match to be Mario versus Mega Man so we have to reset that up so we go back to the filters and select Mario for player 1 and Mega Man for player 2. And now because our random numbers are between 1 and 2, not including 2, we set the random value for this Mario versus Mega Man match to be 2. So now that that's set we just have to go back to our filters and select all so that we get our full list of matches. And finally, we have to sort our random values by ascending order. So what we'll have is we'll have the matches we've already done still in the same order. We'll have the new matches or the matches we haven't done yet uh, in a new random order, but now they include the DLC characters. As you can see, the very first match there is Lucas versus Captain Falcon. And finally, if we go down to the bottom of the sheet, we will have our Mario vs Mega Man match. Alright, so that's the spreadsheet ready to go. So, if you win a match, you put in your token. So, uh, let's just say Heath wins this match, he probably would beat my Lucas. We'd put a H in there. And there you go, Heath's got his second win on the spreadsheet. Well done to him. So yeah, that's the spreadsheet. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too complicated. Really, the most complicated thing about doing this spreadsheet smash thing is probably finding someone else that would be willing to play 3,000 plus matches with you. If you can manage that, uh, this should be a piece of cake setting up the spreadsheet. And if you actually do use this spreadsheet, uh, please by all means post a comment with a link to your version of the spreadsheet. I, and I'm sure Heath would, uh, be very interested in seeing progress of other people's spreadsheets. Mm, that, that sounds a bit wrong. Anyways, you know what I mean. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.